Hey y'all, it's Donna from Donna Gales Designs and in today's video I'm doing another freshie video. This one is going to be on how I make my cardstock freshies. This is probably one of my favorite freshies to make right now. Um, so I did want to share it with you guys. Everything I use in today's video will be linked down in the description below along with my social media links in case you want to follow me there. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I usually find my images on Creative Fabric Club, but you can also search them on Google if you like and save that image to your desktop. So what I did in Silhouette is I just created a circle three inches because that's the size of my mold. And um, then I just dragged from my desktop to that circle and it automatically fit it in there perfectly. If it doesn't already come grouped up, you're gonna wanna right click and group it together. So here's my mold and here are the cutouts. If you don't have a silhouette, you can, because um, I did a print and cut for this, you can also buy yourself a hole punch and punch it out that way. So my beads are already scented and ready to go. So what I'm doing here is just filling up my molds and then I'm gonna dump them out. And the reason why I do that is because I don't wanna waste any of my beads. So I measure them out so I know the exact amount that I need. So these two are gonna be two different scents. That's why I'm doing them separately. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some mica powder in there. You need very little bit. I found that you don't need a lot at all and you don't wanna be put too much mica powder into your aroma beads. So once they're all mixed together, what I'm going to do, the first mold I'm going to do is going to be without glitter and the second mold I'm going to show is going to be with glitter just so you can see both versions. Um, so once my beads are good and mixed up, we are going to first go ahead and place that cardstock face down and you know this is where you want to pay attention and make sure that it's centered. <clears throat> because and it may move when you pour your aroma beads in so i usually put my finger down till i get the first um batch of beads in there just so it doesn't move around and then i'll remove my finger and um place the rest of the aroma beads into my mold and then i'm going to take my finger um and just touch down with my finger just to make sure they're good and even so now we're going to do the second mold which will be the one with glitter so once i measured them out in the mold i dumped them into the ziploc bag i do like to use the ziploc bag because once i'm done i can just throw it out instead of washing a bunch of dishes or whatever so once i get the coloring the way i like it i did add a little bit more orange to this one since it is a nice fall one um and then you know mix it all together make sure they're evenly coated same thing putting the cardstock face down and then before we put our aroma beads in i'm just taking this um it's like a mix not like really chunky and all around that cardstock so it'll peek through once it's baked so same thing holding my finger down so i get some in there you see it moved around a little bit so i'm just adjusting it while i still can and then putting the rest of my aroma beads in there and then patting them down with my finger. Um, everybody's oven is different, I feel, and cooks at different temperatures, so yours may be different. I cook mine at 325 for 10 minutes. Um, and if it needs more, then I will adjust it and check it every minute. Once they're baked and cooled down, I'll demold them. They come out super easy, and I go ahead and trip, trim up any of those pokey bits and um, then we'd be ready to put them together. I like to put mine on, I don't like to use the roofing nails. I've tried it that way, I just didn't like it that way. I prefer to put some, uh, I think they're called eye, eye screws in there. Um, so I'll hold the eye screw with my pliers and in the other hand, heat it up with my candle lighter and it goes in like butter, guys. So this I found is the easiest way to do it and then the, you know it'll harden up around that and then what i like to do just as an extra security measure i do like to um put a little bit of gorilla glue you can use whatever glue you you have but that's just like what i like to use and put it around that eye screw and what i'll do is i'll fold up a, a post-it note and just um smear that glue out so it's not like a big glob so this way it's smooth and you can't even tell um that it's on there and from what i have told you know seen so far these screws have not moved whatsoever by 
um, doing it this way. I did forget to mention when my molds, when my freshies come out of the oven while they're still warm, I do take a silicone brush and go along the edges and push down the edges and that helps um, prevent a lot of pokey bits. It just reduces them and I push my molds down when they come out of the oven so they're nice and even. So as you can see here, I'm just showing you how I take that post-it note I'm kind of smearing that glue. I do let that usually dry for a long while because I want to make sure it is good and dry. I like to put bubble glam beads on my freshies, but that is not, that's an option guys. That's really up to you if you want to do that. You no, definitely don't have to do it if you don't want to. Now my cord I'm using, I like to measure out six inches, bend it over and then, so it's like 12 inches long. I'll, I'll, Pull them together so the two ends meet and I pulled that through that eye hook and then put it through and pull it tight um, and then I will put my bead on and I usually will tie a knot over the bead just so it's not moving because when I send my freshies out I like to I don't like to tie the freshie because I like to give my customers the option of how how um, long they want it in their car this way it's up to them um, and then this is um, just how I like to do it. I've seen other creators do it differently and it really is just up to you. There is no right or wrong way to do it. So I just wanted to, you know, show you real quickly, you know, as I'm done with these, um, how they came out. So I do feel like they came out really, really well. If you don't know how to mix your own aroma beads, check out my first video for freshies, which is intro to freshies. And that I go over in detail um how to mix your own you can of course buy i know i've seen many companies buy uh have already sent it beads i just don't really do that too often i just like to mix my own but um you can do it either either way so now we're putting this other orange freshie together and i'm just adding that bead <coughs> on that eye screw and then both of these will be done so I just wanted to do a close up of how they came out. This is the one without glitter. And then this is the one with glitter. I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. I hope you have a fabulous day. Keep on crafting everyone and I'll see you in the next one.